Hello, I'm Mr Lamb and we're just going to talk you through some various aspects of the school and it's certainly living in unusual times where I didn't quite expect to be presenting the open evening presentation in this way. One thing I'd say first, the students have returned to school superbly well, so proud of them, uh, taking on board all the protective measures we've put in place and actually getting down to learning exactly where they need to be at their time, this time in their life. For you as parents and carers, it must feel like no time at all that you're preparing your son and daughter for their first day at primary school with their packed lunch and their book bag, excited about the future. And here now, seven years on, making the important decision which secondary school to choose to send your child to. I don't underestimate the importance of that decision, having gone through that recently with my own children. The decision you are making is a very personal one and it's such a shame you can't see the school in action during the day when it's full of our wonderful students. When I arrived two years ago I implemented a number of significant changes to the school and we're still seeing that transfor transformational effect now. I've walked many parents around pre-lockdown around the school and they've been taken aback by the calm and purposeful atmosphere in the lessons. More of that later. We expect the school to increase in time over the uh, increase in number over the next few years, with 300 preferences last year for 200 places, and we are expecting to be full again in all year groups in the coming years. Just a reminder that the closing dates for applications are the 31st of October, and you'll be notified on the 1st of March via the email that you register with by county. County no longer send information to parents, so if you'd like more information, you can visit our parent tab. Uh, via admissions on the website. Please remember you do still need to apply even if you're in catchment and you've decided to send your child to Chilton Trinity School. As you know exams did not take place this year and we are confident our exams, exam results will increase over time over the, next, over the few, next few years and the changes we have made will impact significantly on improving those results. Our approach and our aims are simple. With ambition, we want students to be the best they can be and make progress academically, socially and emotionally. With engagement in school life, we want students to play a full role in their own learning and enrichment. And with re resilience, the one I see as most important, we want students to overcome setbacks as they would always have that in life, learn from them by showing strength of character and improve. This is all underpinned by the principle of work hard and be kind. No one can ask any more of you than that. We will achieve our aims and objectives by delivering a high quality disruption free learning through a rigorous academic curriculum in a safe and caring environment that puts educating the child at the core of everything. We expect students to work hard, show kindness towards one another and as a parent myself I see a young person in this school as my own and I want the same for them as I do my own children. We all represent our community and are ambassadors for our school. We appreciate each other's successes and we make no apology for being equally ambitious for every child in this school, irrespective of their background, prior attainment or additional needs. 
We refer to something called behaviour for character. All decisions, conversations are taken with the aim to ensure that our students are given the tools for climbing the mountain to their personal best so they can thrive in a fulfilling career and have a fantastic life when they leave. We call this behaviour for character and appreciate everyone is at different stages of this journey. And it is a journey. I want students to, to develop their individuality and be comfortable with whoever they are. Many schools have sky-high expectations. It's easy to say, but less so to implement. And a change of culture in the school has meant that we've been able to do that. You will be joining a school that is undergoing that transform transformational change as we speak. I can tell you we have sky-high expectations of your child, and it's a privilege to walk around the school and get into lessons. With the changes we've made, we are seeing every day students starting to believe they can achieve more than ever they ever thought possible. And they've certainly come back from lockdown with a really positive attitude. And I think they feel empowered that their learning is the highest of priorities in the school. We have amazing students in disruption-free learning, as I've mentioned, where behaviours and routines are explicitly taught and constantly reinforced in every lesson. We teach our students to be articulate, confident, project their voice, make good eye contact. In the classroom, they enter in silence. They are focused on their learning for every minute therefore maximising every minute of their time in the school. We do it because we don't just want students to get to good GCSEs. Although that is essential, we also love teaching them kindness, gratitude and decency. Linked to behaviour for character is uniform. We expect students to wear the uniform with pride, both in school and the community. The uniform standards are here are excellent and I always make a point of thanking parents and carers for the support as I appreciate the expense this is, this, the parents go to for this. A smart appearance is an increasingly important aspect of, school, of modern school life and it helps promote a sense of belonging to the school's ethos. The uniform policy also ensures the focus is on learning as opposed to fashion in the school. I see the school as a place of work and part of that is taking a pride in uniform. On starting at Chilton Trinity School, every child receives the following equipment on the slides. This is checked every morning down to the number of pens they have. And again, this is because we want to maximise every minute of your child's learning so no time is wasted looking for pens, etc. It teaches them to take responsibility for their equipment. It's an essential part of learning, but also life as they get older. Homework is set every night and then therefore it becomes habit and routine. It's broken into three parts, self-quizzing, reading, online Hegarty maths, all focused on practice of what's being taught in the lesson. Self-quizzing using knowledge organisers plays two important roles. Firstly, it's practice of what's being taught in lessons and also helps students with retrieval practice. This will allow them to develop re revision and memory skills as they move through years towards their exams in 2026. The reading homework, where you can see a number of themes on the slides here, are themed. The students read one article, poem or story every night. Literacy is hugely important and we want students to be exposed to 10,000 words a day. Last year we introduced Drop Everything and Read, Dear Time, where students read every day for 30 minutes. And it's okay if they've read the books before, it's about sharing that love of reading as a family and as a tutor group. The impact on this will be long term and we're already finding that students are more confident and able to express their opinions and have also started reading more obviously. Some of the examples are on the slide in front of you. During tier time, dear time, there is a discussion about the vocabulary of the book there is a chance to read out loud and discuss aspects of the book that interest them. This is about supporting students to be themselves and be confident and develop a love of reading. Within Leffens, we have carefully planned rigorous academic curriculum, which is rich and diverse and is essential to contributing to ambition, engagement and resilience. As well as the usual sub course subjects in it of English, maths and science, students will experience Spanish, French, history, geography, religious studies, drama, music, computer studies, ethics, citizenship, art, photography, de design technology and food and nutrition, sport and PE. There is a focus on the acquisition of knowledge within both lessons and homework. The teaching supports students to make contacts, connections across the curriculum. Our assessment of this knowledge is called low stakes testing. 
It is sequenced so that learning from previous units is interleaved into the curriculum and this enables students to recap previous learning. The house system is a hugely important part of the school and I'm sure you have a number of ex-students watching this presentation now who are perhaps returning as parents and you may remember the house, system, house that you were in. House system is over 30 years old. The four smaller houses supports the school's ethos by creating a family atmosphere that nurtures each and every child. As you may know, our houses, our houses divide the school into four smaller families. We call them Jupiter, Mars, Neptune, Venus, each led by a head of house and tutor. The house system promotes competition through inter-house activities throughout the year, promoting success, resilience and team spirit, all contributing to the Crow Trophy. The winners receive an afternoon off school and you can see some of the photos there. I'm in the top left enjoying uh, uh, the Dodgems, which I love, with uh, Riley who left uh, this year. Tutor groups also help establish strong links with families. Siblings go into the same house and this further develops that sense of belonging through the enrichment, through participation in clubs and it's a huge part of the school. We believe it develops students' self-esteem and confidence as well as creating a sense of pride in Chilton Trinity School. Linked to this, there are a number of trips that students go out on school. I'll list a few now. Cold Harbour Mill, theatre trip to Poole, careers fair to Ta Taunton Cricket Ground, ski trip, flip out, the World War I battlefield tour, Exeter University, a star stargazing event on Exmoor, Berlin Residential, Plas Penkelis River Studies trip, University of Somerset trip to Taunton, Chepstow Castle visit, Lyme Regis, Bristol Old Vic, Year 7 camp, Nottingham University, South Africa residential. I could go on and list many, many more. There are lots of opportunities for students to get involved with here. We have an absolute moral imperative, imperative to equip students with the best possible exam results. We know this sets them up for the rest of their life and opens doors. This, however, is balanced by providing opportunities for our students to have a genuine life enriching experiences. This is underpinned by the unconditional commitment to provide the best possible education for your child. It is hugely important to us that every child in the school feels happy and safe. The mantra of work hard and be kind is key to this. To be kind, you need empathy. So we reinforce this in every conversation we have with students. I expect this to be the minimum expectation for all students. If they do nothing else, this is the one thing they do, work hard and be kind. But we want them to know that we will go the extra mile making a positive contribution to the community. We will always celebrate progress students make from students retrieving grade nines to grade ones. Our job is to build a culture where we educate the whole child, not only academically, but also as a person. As a parent of two teenage girls myself, both at secondary school, I very much know the transition from primary school education to secondary school is an individual experience and everybody copes in different ways. For me, we're an extension of your family working together to support every child. Genuinely, I want the same for the students at Chilton Trinity School as I do for my own children. Our job is to make the, the transition to secondary school as smooth as possible. And finally, in five years time, 2026, your child will be celebrating their prom. And I want those five years for your child to be full of great memories, a great set of exam results to be proud of, but also they have the best years of their life. You often hear that the school year should be the best age of your life. I disagree. School should be really, really good and you should have a great time. But actually our job is to set your child up for the rest of their life in partnership with you, parents and carers, building resilience, confidence and respect. Finally, the decision you make is very personal to you. We are hugely excited about where Chilton Trinity School will be going in the future and I hope you decide to send your child here. I hope you've enjoyed this evening's presentation. Please do take an opportunity to look around the website and if you have any questions you can access through the email that was on this presentation. Best wishes to you all and take care.